teach everything he commanded them to teach. New ways to communicate God's word. Present positive images to our people. This message of truth and salvation. Culture of uh, encounter. Gospel of Christ worldwide. Shalom World TV. Twenty four seven. Faith filled. Dynamic. Virtue building. Commercial free. Family friendly. Catholic charismatic channel to the whole world. Promote the gift of church teaching. Dedicated for the new evangelization. Mentor the young into a deeper embrace of the Catholic faith. Wonderful contributions to the church. People of prayer. Attractive people, attractive messages. Peace of Christ. Promote the values of life. This is media at its very best. The voice of the church. Great love. Taking this to the next step. Shalom World TV. Shalom. 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 Shalom World. everyone. Today we celebrate the healing of the hemorrhaging women. We are on page 209. 209. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord, you are almighty and have power over the universe. To the crowd pressing upon you, you said, Power has gone out from me. Then to the hemorrhaging woman who was healed by the touching of the fringe of your clothes, you said, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Now we ask you to heal us from every sin, that we may stand with the purity before you all the days of our lives. We raise the glory and thanks to you, to your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the Father who had compassion on all people and sent his only begotten Son to save them. To the only begotten Son who bandaged their wounds and poured healing ointment on them. And to the life-giving Holy Spirit who sanctifies those who take refuge in him. To the good one be glory and honor on this blessed Sunday and all the days of our lives and forever. Amen. All-powerful and almighty Father, long ago you spoke to our ancestors in various ways, but at the appointed time you sent your beloved Son to us. Through his words and miracles he taught us about you and commanded us to love one another. We thank you for all what you have given us through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify you, O Father, the Lord of life and salvation. You are the Holy One who knows what lies in the hearts of those who love you, and you heal the pains of those who take refuge in you. As your only begotten Son, heal the paralytic and the blind man and the hemorrhaging woman and the lame man, Heal us all, fill our souls with calm and peace, as your Son calmed the surging waves. Now, O Lord, we implore you, with the fragrance of this incense, for all those who are suffering, pour out the balm of your consolation on their wounded hearts. Watch over them with your fatherly eye, lest in their trials and sufferings they stray from your love. Raise your right hand and bless also those who are healthy, so the joy may dwell in all their hearts. We raise glory and praise to your Son and your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Please be seated. Hymn number 12.
our physician, lover of all people. We thank you for your compassion, for you have bandaged the wounds of our suffering humanity. Heal the sick and comfort the sorrowful. Accept our prayers as you accepted the plea of the hemorrhaging women. Bless our community that prays to you. We believe that you are our Savior and Redeemer, and we wait the day of your glorious resurrection. To you be glory and thanks forever. Amen. We stand. Adishat Aloha, Adishat Hail Tono, Adishat Lomo. Sanctify our minds and purify our consciences that we may praise you with the purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Father, give your blessing. 
glory to Paul and the apostles and may the blessing and mercy of God rest upon the reader, the listeners and upon this parish and her children forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I have great confidence in you. I have great pride in you. I am filled with encouragement. I am overflowing with joy all the more because of all our affliction. For even when we came into Macedonia, our flesh had no rest. But we were afflicted in every way, external conflicts, internal fears. But God, who encourages the downcast, encouraged us by the arrival of Titus. And not only by his arrival, but by the encouragement in which he was encouraged in regards to you, as he told us of your yearning, your lament, your zeal for me, so that I rejoiced even more. For even if my letter had saddened you, I do not regret it. And even if I did regret it, for I see that my letter saddened you, if only for a while, I rejoice now, not because you were saddened, but because you were saddened with, into repentance. You were saddened in a godly way, so that you did not suffer loss in anything because of us. For godly sorrow produces a salutary repentance with, without regret, but worldly sorrow produces death. For behold, what earnestness this godly sorrow has produced for you, as well as readiness for defense and indignation and fear and yearning and zeal and punishment. In every way, you have shown yourselves to be innocent in the matter. Praise be to God always. Please stand. Assalamu li jami'aikum Wa ma'ruhika Min injili Rabbina Yesu'a al-Masih Lil-Qaddisi Luka Aladhi bashar al-Alam bil-Hayat Fal-Nusri ila bisharat al-Hayat Wal-Khalasi li-Nufusina Kunu fi sukuti ayuha al-Sami'u لأن الإنجيل المقدس يتلى الآن عليكم فاسمعوا ومجدوا واشكروا كلمة الله الحي بسم الآب والابن والروح القدس إله الواحد أمين قال لوقا البشير وفيما يسوع ذاهب إلى بيت يأيروس كان الجموع يسحمونه وكانت امرأة مصابة بنزف دم منذ سنتي عشر سنة ولم يقدر أحد أن يشفيها دنت من وراء يسوع ولمست طرف ردائه وفجأة وقف نزف دمها فقال يسوع 
من لمسني وأنكر الجميع فقال بطرس ومن معه يا معلم إن الجموع يزحمونك ويضايقونك فقال يسوع إن واحدا قد لمسني فأني عرفت أن قوة قد خرجت مني ورأت المرأة أن أمرها لم يخف عليه فدنت مرتعدة وارتمت على قدميه وأعلنت أمام الشعب كله لماذا لمسته وكيف شفيت للحال فقال لها يسوع يا ابنتي إيمانك خلصك اذهبي بسلام A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke When Jesus returned to Capernaum and he went to the house of Jairus the crowd almost crushed him and a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years who had spent her whole livelihood on doctors and was unable to be cured by anyone, came up behind him and touched the tassel on his clock. Immediately, her bleeding stopped. Then Jesus asked, who touched me? While all were denying, Peter said, Master, the crowds are pushing and pressing in upon you. But Jesus said, someone has touched me. For I know that power has gone out from me. When the woman realized that she had not escaped notice, she came forward trembling. Falling down before him, she explained in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been healed immediately. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone of the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any longer. On hearing this, Jesus answered him, Do not be afraid. Just have faith, and she will be saved. This is the truth. Peace be with you. the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Today I'd like to welcome among us one of the biggest mission in the church and the media. I'd like to welcome among us Shalom World Network. They, their mission is to spread the gospel in the whole world. And we thank this special television for showing interest in our Eastern Rite, our tradition. Today, St. Luke painted a beautiful icon about a woman who is suffering for 12 years. And every time I read this gospel, I cannot stop identifying myself with this woman. When we look at her, we see our witnesses we see our cross in life. When we look at this woman, we see embarrassment and humiliation in life. When we look at this woman, we see her life is threatened by sickness. Her relationship with others broken, all because of her situation, because of our situation. Our patriarch, Arai, said, this hemorrhaging woman reminds us of 
our bleeding spiritual life, our bleeding moral life, our bleeding social and national life. We bleed because of sin. But how do you respond? How do you respond to difficulty in your life? Do you quit? Do you quit? Do you give up? Well, this woman, she had enough pain, but also she had enough courage, enough hope, enough faith to come and to touch Jesus. She said, no, quitting is not me. Quitting is not what God created me to be. As we look to our countries in the Middle East, we see bleeding of Christianity. And we ask, why? Well, we don't know why. What I know, that we have solution. We have courage. If we have courage to come to Jesus, he will heal us. If we repent for our sins, he will heal us. Brothers and sisters, what is courage? Courage is like Saint Maroon, leaving the life behind you, going to the mountain to worship God. It's like Saint Charbel, consecrating every breath of your life for the sake of God. What is courage? The Pope Francis said, when we're looking for God, we're not going to find him sitting on a couch flipping in the magazine. We're not going to find him sitting on our computer looking to all the different websites. No, we have to set a journey. We have to set a risky journey. Take risk in life. That's what the women did. A leap of faith. That's what the women did. When you love, you take the risk. When you forgive, you take the risk. When you go to confession, you take the risk and it needs courage and lots of courage. And when you come to Mass, it takes the risk to be able to see Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, to come and to touch him. Not just his clock, his tassel, to touch his body and blood and to have enough hope, enough faith to let him heal you, touch you, change you. We have two incredible ability as a human being. The first ability is to choose. We have a free choice. And to choose every day, to have the courage to choose every day God and to follow God. This is a blessing, to have a freedom to choose. And the other ability is to dream. To dream of a better day. To dream in the future and to come to your present and to work out your present. To look in the mirror and to say, this is not me. This is not what God created me to be. I can be much better. God gave me much better and I can be much better. This is courage. That's what the woman thought. This is not me. In this sickness, in these problems, in this frustration. And she found the solution only in touching the hem of Jesus. Let me ask you, what is courage for you? Well, courage for our days today is to have virtues, to live according to virtues, to have self-control. It needs lots of courage in your life. Without self-control, there is no success, not in spiritual, not in business life. You need self-control. You need resilience. And what is re resilience in the dictionary? Resilience to be able, the ability to bounce back after hardship, after your heart was broken, to bounce back, after you were beaten, to bounce back to life. That's what the women did. That's what our spirituality as Maronite, is to bounce back after all the persecution during the year. This is our Eastern spirituality. To come and to touch Jesus, and he will give us life. Today, in this Mass, 
as we meditate in the, this woman who was bleeding for 12 years, dying for 12 years, let us today come to God, present to him ourselves, with all our sins, with all our happiness, with all our dreams, with all our abilities, and let us ask him to heal us, to heal our countries, to heal the hatred, to heal us from this obsession about technology and forgetting the reason why technology is here, is to help us to achieve who we are. Together, let us pray that every one of us, he will have a courage to go to confession this land. He will have courage to touch the body and blood of Jesus with humility, with hope, and with faith. Amen. Please stand and turn to page 748. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. Together on page 749, 
I will go to the altar of God, to God who gives the joy to my youth. Through the abundance of your goodness, I will enter your house and worship in your holy temple. Guide me, O Lord, in my fear, and instruct me in my justice. Pray for me to the Lord. May God accept your offering and have mercy on us through your prayer. the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them. And in place of their earthly gift, grant them life and entrance into your kingdom now and forever. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the blessed mother of God, Saint Maroon, Saint Charbel, and all the saints. Remember, O oh God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom the sacrifice is offered. We pray for all the Christians in the Middle East. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering, now and forever. Amen. seated and continue Mass on page 754, the Anaphora of the Twelve Apostles. Safha 754. Majulillah bi wal ibni wal ruh al qudus min al ana wa ila al aba. Amen. Merciful and holy Lord and Father, through your only begotten Son, you have prepared the spiritual banquet for us. Accept the offering of this bloodless sacrifice and grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit. Make us worthy to give one another the greeting of peace with a pure heart and divine love that we may raise the glory and thanks to you, to your only Son and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. السلام لك يا مسبح الله السلام للأسرار المقدسة الموضوع عليك السلام لكم يا خدام الروح القدس Let us give the greeting of peace to our neighbor with love and faith that are pleasing to God 
O Lord, may your peace and security and your true love and divine mercy be with us among all us the days of the lives that we may raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, we bow before you and ask you to look upon us with mercy. Make us worthy to approach your holy altar with pure hearts and holy souls and bodies. Then we raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Mahabatullahi lab, ni'matil ibn al-wahid, sharikat wa hulul al-ruh al-qudus, ma'a jami'akum ya ikhwati ila al-aba. Wa ma'al ruhika. لتكن أفكارنا وعقولنا وقلوبنا مرتفعة إلى العلا إن ولديك يا الله نشكر الرب متهيبين ونجد له خاشعين إنه لحق ووسيم Truly it is right and just to glorify and praise you O oh God, the Father, for you are holy and the giver of life. You are blessed with your only begotten Son and your living Holy Spirit. You are surrounded by the cherubim and seraphim who sing with the pure voices and heavenly melodies. They cry out to glorify and proclaim. Catholic tradition, the consecration of the Holy Eucharist is recited in Syriac, a dialect of the Aramaic language spoken in Jesus' time. Holy, 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 God the Father, full of mercy, holy is your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and holy is your life-giving Spirit. You are holy and the giver of all that is good for our salvation. Your only begotten Son became a flesh of the pure Virgin Mary and by his divine plan of salvation, saved and redeemed us. Yomo haudak dom hashodile, ma'abed haye, sabi lahmo bidaw qadishoto, barikh uqade. وقصو يا بالتلميدا وكادو ما ساب خول مني كل خو هونو دين إيتا فغرو دي دحلو فيكو وحلو فساقية متقصي ومتهيب حسو يد حوبي والحاية دلعو لم علمي وخانو عالكوسو دمزيغو من حمرو من مايو باريخو قاديش يا بالتلميدا وكادو ما سابشتا ومنه كل خو هونو دين إيتاو دمو ديل دياتي قحداتو دحلو فيكون وحلو فساقية متشيدو متهيب حسو يود حوبي والحاية Dal'olam ulmi Ulmi
together we continue on page 760, 760. Then the Lord Jesus gave us this instruction. Whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do so in memory of me until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the goodness of your sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O Lord, lover of all people, we remember your plan of salvation. We ask you to have mercy on your worshipers and to save your inheritance when you appear at the end of time to reward all people justly according to their deeds. For this, your church implores you and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, and have mercy on us, O Lord, and to our Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. <laughs> وعلى هذا القربان <تصفيق> Dead by his descent, may the Holy Spirit make this bread the body of Christ, our God. Make the mixture in this chalice, the blood of Christ, our God. Amen. May these holy mysteries be for the forgiveness of sins, the healing of souls and bodies, the strengthening of consciences, so that none of your faithful may perish. Rather, make us to live by your Spirit, Lord. Lead us to a pure life and we raise the glory to you, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. We offer our Lord this divine sacrifice for your church, especially for our fathers and shepherds, Francis, the Pope of Rome, Shara Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, Lies, our Bishop, and all the bishops, of true faith, with a blameless life, with a purity and holiness. May they guide your church and present to you a faithful people who honor your name. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Living God, lover of all whom you have created, as we remember and celebrate the healing of the Hemorrhagian woman, we pray for all women who have been abused through word or deed. Grant unto them courage and the hope of tender love once again. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the Assyrian men, women, and children who were abducted in Iraq this past week. Give them courage to deal with the most difficult situation which has placed them in danger. Lord God, you promised to walk with us when we are in danger. So be with the kidnapped Assyrians who are certainly afraid. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we pray for all those celebrating this liturgy with us today on live TV. We pray for the Shalom World TV staff and all those who work in Christian media 
all over the world. Watch over them and protect them so they continue to spread your gospel. We pray to you, O Lord. بذكرى المرأة المنزوفة منصلي على نية المرضى والمتألمين بالرعية خصوصا يلي مرضهم عم يمنعهم انه يعيشوا حياة طبيعية مثل كل الناس نطلب منك يا رب انك تتشفع فيهم وتخفف ألمهم ويكون إيمانهم مصدر أمل وتعزي وقوة نسألك يا رب سامحنا اللهم واغفر لنا ولهم فيتمجد بنا وبكل شيء اسمك المبارك مع اسم ربنا يسوع المسيح وروحك الحي القدوس الآن وإلى الأبد كما كان وهو الآن Hymn number 170 O Lord, you are the pleasing oblation who offered yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as the Lamb. Do your mercy. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who makes himself available to every one of us. Let us come and touch him with faith and courage as we open our hands and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yes, O Lord, lover of all people, deliver us from every evil, one from his deceitful ways, and do not forsake us lest temptation overcome us. For yours is the kingdom with your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiving altar, 
and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. Lord, bless your people who bow before you. Deliver us from all harm. Make us worthy to share in this divine mysteries with a purity and holiness that through them we may be forgiven and made holy and we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. نعمة الثالوث الأقدس الأزلي المتساوف الجوهر معكم يا إخوتي إلى الأبد. ومع روحك. Let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, blessed be the name. Together, let us open our hand and prepare ourselves to receive Jesus. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins, and in your life, O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. Hymn number 101.
stand, we continue Mass on page 771. أيضاً وأيضاً بك يا رب نعترف والتسبيح إليك نرفع لأنك أطعمتنا جسدك ودمك الحي سقيتنا يا محب البشر ارحمنا ارحمنا يا رب يا حمود يا رحمود يا محب البشر ارحمنا Please be seated. Lord Jesus, as we receive your body and blood, every one of us, we are touched by you, by your compassion and love. I feel, Lord, that my life is in jeopardy without you. I cannot face the pain, the problems, the anxiety, the fear alone, and I need you. And you're always there available for me, but you need me to come this little step of courage and touch you 
with faith, with hope. Because you are here available for every one of us. We thank you for this opportunity as we come to meet you, to see you. May this time, our communion in the church, become a moment of change in our life. Change us to be not just people who come to church, but your followers, your disciples. We thank you, Lord, again. Bless our life and touch our heart. Heal our sins and our sicknesses and grant us peace. We thank you, Lord, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessing you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God, to whom be glory forever. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Sunday. Shalom Tidings. This is good news for a new generation. Discover God's constant presence amidst the hopelessness in our lives. Tiffany Layton writes about losing her young husband to horrific violence in Clinging to the Cross. God's grace showed Anne Noel how to be a merciful woman. Brother Manus Matus tells us why misery, pain, and suffering can indeed be a gift. Lisa Duffy shares her experiences in escaping the dangers of the divorce culture. Patty Knapp understands the infinite value of having a mass said, and so much more. Read about how God gives hope for the heartbroken in the February-March 2015 issue of Shalom Tidings. Visit shalomworld.org forward slash tidings. Also available in Barnes & Noble stores, 